So before we get started with our... Overtime action. Let's catch you up on the changes the National Football League owners just recently passed in the offseason. Initially, I didn't want to see them change overtime because I thought what made overtime so exciting was that the game could end on any given play. Just go to touchdown, the game's over. Well, they didn't change that part. All they said was that if the team that wins the coin toss goes down and kicks a field goal, we're going to give a possession to the other team. But if you go down and score a touchdown after winning the coin toss, the game's over. So in essence, they've kept the excitement to balance the power a little bit to give both teams a chance. He didn't get back to the line. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there was nowhere to go. He doesn't get back to the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Still looking for an open man. He goes down. Sack. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that, not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. He's looking towards the left side. Hit as he caught it, and he's able to hang on to it. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. The stop was made by Terrence Cody. Well, the real gain on that play was on the clock because not only did they pick up the first down, but that clock keeps ticking. Win it. What a finish. Makes the long one with room to spare. 